Taverophiles and everyone else who wishes to learn about graves and cemeteries and the like. Who's ready for a sandwich seat? Because I am. It is the beginning of the day in Trowel today, where it is sunny and promising rain later, so I thought, well, sunny, got a day off, let's go check the church out. Um, I did read that it's closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, but open on Wednesdays. Guess what day it is? It's a Monday, so it won't be open. <laughs> what can you do about it? Anyway, you can see behind me, this is the side entrance to the small cemetery on the side, but let's head on in and see. I did see a few people milling around actually, so maybe I'll get inside. Who knows? But First thing I'm noticing here is over the road there is like a, a farm that seems to have a really terrible smell of just farminess. <laughs> I mean, I've worked on a lot of farms, but it smells pretty bad. The roof is collapsing in on it and stuff as well, so I don't know if anybody's even using it anymore, but it's making it smell pretty bad around here. Anyway, let's begin with some history of travel, shall we? Maybe through there is where the church is. <laughs> Very spooky looking. Anyway, so uh, the village of Trowel, this is St. Helen's Church. So a uh, bit of info about Trowel, the name. Um, it is a habitational name um, from Old English. Uh, trio, T-R-E-W-O, is tree in Old English, and Wella is stream. So kind of tree stream. <laughs> when you get Trowella, which is Trowell, um, it originated from that name. So you can tell around here it's, it's very foresty besides obviously the houses that have been built nearby but that's the origin so let's go have a look at some of the graves and perhaps the church inside. So nearest to the side entrance here um, really cute door here that obviously leads right up to the bell tower. Really, really like these slates. <laughs> Very broken, but um, that can't be helped, I guess. So we've got, oh, that's hard to read. John Day. They're all the Day family, it would seem. Look how broken this one is. And this one's split right down the middle. Coming around the side, I think this is the oldest area of the gravestones. I did find one right next to the door. I'll show you in a minute, but um, it was so old and oldie worldy, you know, the font was all curly. Um, but again, these were all laid flat. The nearest to this part that is here would have been underground. So these were actually gravestones at one point. They're just laid flat for safety's sake now, I guess quite like these ones too. There is a way to get in, so let's have a look. Hmm, yes, I like the colours. <laughs> Very crumbly. And some really good moss on top of that one. <laughs> Another side gate, uh, very well crafted with the stones leading round. I'm excited about this grave over here. It's more like a tomb, really. These are very moss covered, but look how high up that is. It's almost like the Viking hogback graves. I know it isn't, but um, very in the style of. Coming round the side, it's clearly marked that it is. John Hopkinson, little mossy fellas on there. If anybody knows of any relevance of that, um, there's no other details on there, but whether or not it was someone important being this close to the front of the church. I do really like this one too. A little jaunty angle there. And look out, because this one's going to fall. <laughs> so close to the edge. It's come right round, and you can see. Any minute now. Um, definitely can't tell who it was. Maybe a 
N there. <laughs> oh, seeing this door just remind me, let me know if this is actually true. That I read that, is it south facing doors? Um, were actually bricked up because they were believed to be the negative side of the church that led to Satan. Can anybody else <laughs> actually say if that's true or not? Because I did read that one recently. It's laid flat ones. They are very safety conscious at this uh, cemetery. There's no way that any of these would break because they're so thick. But I do like the sounds of this little part on here that says, In thoughts profound, spectator view thy fate. Thus mortals pass in an immortal state. In the corner here, we got a very eroded tomb. There's no name on the other side, but um, who knows who this is? Um, Mr. Ivy, the green man, is buried here now. <laughs> There's also someone else right on the edge there that hasn't been moved. Look what a beautiful day it's turned out to be. Looking up at the clock, actually, um, I remember on the way here, told me that the clock or the bell, I think the bell tower, the actual bells in the bell tower, were going to be the bells for Nottingham Square, but they actually ended up here. Um, I couldn't substantiate that online, whether or not that's true. Do you guys know? I'm pretty sure that um, my pa's very good with his history, so I'm going to trust and him. And despite the very fallen apart gravestones in this little area this one I can really get behind despite all the slates breaking and falling apart when they're really old check a look at this one it's from 1904 from Robert someone I really can't see the last name but it's all hand carved and it actually says that they died when they were two years and five days old but somehow this has lasted longer than a lot of the other slates. <laughs> Alright everybody, that is Trowel Church, St. Helens in Trowel. I think I'm going to leave it at that because I'd, I'd, as usual I'm jinxed that they're um, making a sign for like the harvest festivals that's coming around <laughs> and they're hammering and drilling and band sawing. I don't know what they're doing. I'll leave them to it but there's nothing much on that side of the church anyway. This is the quiet side, so I thought I would just film the little ending saying I hope you've enjoyed this uh, small village town. Um, as far as I know, um, there isn't much relative to this church in the area, but if you know more about Trowel, let me know down below. But I hope you've enjoyed this cemetery seek. Get out and find your cemeteries, everybody. Toodle pip.